Hey there, Centrones. Behringer has an update concerning their DS80 or their CS80 clone development. As you know, they are attempting to clone the CS80 synthesizer and they are coming out with some news here today uh, from their Facebook page. It says, we have some exciting updates uh, update on the DS80 development our lead engineer, John Price, spent nearly two years recreating the magical CS80 voice board and transform it into a modern design while retaining the authentic behavior of the original circuitry. This board is now ready to be tested. Now, here is the part that uh, is very interesting to me, okay? They go on to say... We have completed the voice breadboard, which is the final step before moving to the actual design of the synthesizer. So let's stop right there and just realize that they're just now getting done with the circuitry board that uh, they needed to get finished with in order to move on with the actual design of the synth itself. Then they continue and they say this board serves as test and evaluation uh, platform to compare its performance with the original voice board. As you can see, the board contains two voices and also the digital control section plus VRs that represent the temporary front panel controls. Because this is one of the most complex synthesizers ever designed, we're still a long way from delivering a final product, but we hope you'll find this interesting. Wish us luck with this challenging project as there is a risk that we won't succeed. Now, this is a uh, huge development because Behringer is now openly telling us that they are a long ways off from getting the CS80 clone complete, their DS80, and that they may fail in doing this. So this is a huge process, and it makes you wonder, uh, are they actually going to be able to pull it off? Because when they decided that they wanted to do this clone of the CS80, and uh, you know, there's work shortages, there's supply shortages, and then there's the economy. The economy's not doing so good. And all of this factors in to the cost, the time, and just the effort of developing such a complex uh, machine, uh, trying to undertake the CS80 is a huge project to get it right. Now, Behringer certainly has resources at their disposal, but it looks by this uh, post here that it's going to be quite a while and a long wait for any of us to be enjoying anything near a clone of the CS80 coming out of the Behringer camp. Now, this comes on the heels of all sorts of announcements from Behringer in the last several weeks. And uh, it seems like they've got a lot of dream sense that they want to recreate. And they have all of this stuff uh, ready to roll out as soon as the chip supply becomes available. But in the last several posts about Behringer that I've been doing, a lot of you, uh, your patience seem to be running out. I can understand that there's a lot of announcements coming out of the Behringer camp and not a lot of product when it comes to synthesizers. Hopefully, uh, 2022 will remedy some of that. Maybe we'll get lucky and uh, Behringer will supply us with a few of the promised synthesizers they've been talking about. Uh, some of you in your comments have also said that uh, Behringer is announcing too much too soon and that they should wait a little bit further out. So I can clearly see and understand the frustration from many of you wanting to uh, get these Behringer synthesizers and hopefully not knowing anything about them until they're available for sale. But uh, I do want to say something before everyone just runs off and jumps to the comment section about what I just said. I want to add that Behringer uh, invites feedback from the community. So when they're developing a clone of a synthesizer or something new, they often bring it out early 
announcing it and then ask people uh, for their opinions on what they should add or not add. And so this is a chance for people to contact Behringer uh, before the synthesizer is fully designed and ready to go to give an input on what they would like to see or not like to see in the synth. So the time delay between these uh, announcements and the actual delivery of the synthesizer really opens an opportunity for the community to come in and tell Behringer what they uh, think about it and what they would like to see and not see. So uh, I hope that we can kind of like get a balance and see the difference between having the weight and having the weight and having some kind of input. Uh, but some people don't care about that. I get that too. Some people just don't care. They just want the synthesizer to be as close as they can get it to the original and uh, leave it at that. So they don't even want to voice their input on it. They just want the product. So uh, you can't please everybody. I get it. Uh, there is a lot of stuff coming out of the Behringer camp uh, in, in the announcement department about what they're doing and what they're going to do. But still, the shelves are empty. Uh, that's my take on all of this. What is yours? Leave a comment below. Let's talk about this. I'm Pure Ambient Drone. Hit that subscribe button. Tap that bell. And as always, keep calm and synth on.